Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Kim and today I would like to talk about the new covenant. The title of the presentation today it is New Covenant is Three Days and Three Nights. When Jesus had the Last Supper with the disciples, He said, This cup is the new covenant. So if you drink this cup, you will receive the eternal life. So let us find out what is the true meaning of drinking the cup of Jesus. Uh, in Mark chapter 10, verse 38 says, Jesus asked the disciples, Can you drink my cup? You will, you too will drink of my cup. And this cup means the way of crucifixion. When Jesus was praying to the God the Father, Father, please let this cup pass by me. It means Jesus was afraid of going through the way of the crucifixion. So he asked the Father if there is any escape from the crucifixion. But Jesus finally said, not my will, but your will be done. And the cup of Jesus, it was three days and three nights experience in the grave. And we are following Jesus Christ and we will drink the cup of Jesus. And that is the cup of the saint. It is three times and half of the tribulation. It means 42 months. This is Revelation chapter 13 verse 5. So, new covenant means covenant. It is a contract that gives eternal life to those who believe in three days and three nights. This is the cup of Jesus. And it is Wednesday crucifixion and Sunday resurrection. And it was in 30 AD. So if you want to drink the cup of Jesus Christ, you must study and fully understand the true meaning of three days and three nights. This is the only way you can drink the cup of Jesus Christ. And it is the truth, Wednesday crucifixion, Sunday Resurrection Truth. And Jesus will build the New Jerusalem for 3,000 years. The New Jerusalem construction takes for 3,000 years. And Jesus died in the year of 30 AD. This is the year Jesus laid foundation. This is cornerstone. So 30 AD, this is the completion of the foundation. And then 3,000 years, this is the New Jerusalem construction. So New Jerusalem will be completed in the year of 3,030 AD. So 3,030 AD, this is the year of New Covenant. So this is based on Hebrew chapter 8 verse 10 and Revelation chapter 21 verse 3. And this chart it is very very important so please 
uh, take a closer look at this chart. Uh, in Revelation, Babylon, she made mixed cup, which means polluted, and it is in Greek, keraioi. But if you put the alpha at front, it means innocent. So alpha means not. So Babylon, she made mixed cup, polluted cup, so she deceived all nations. But Jesus commanded us, we must be innocent like a dove. So this dove means Holy Spirit and it means truth. So the pure cup Jesus drank, it was three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. That is the cup of Jesus. But Babylon, they made a crooked way. So this is crooked as a snake and it is a lie. This is false doctrine. So mixed cup, it is one day and one night. Jesus died on Friday and resurrected on Sunday. That is a lie by the Babylon. This is a man-made theory. Jesus died on Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Jesus was in the tomb. And then on Sunday, Jesus resurrected. And Jesus told us, we also will drink his cup. It means the saints, they will be persecuted for three times and half. Daniel 7, 25. And those who follow the Friday crucifixion theory, there is no rest day and night because of the sin of rejecting three days and three nights. They suffer. So brothers and sisters, nobody would want to follow the, follow the Babylon. But you need to wake up and understand the pure cup of Jesus Christ. Jesus died on Wednesday and resurrected on Sunday in 30 AD. This is the pure cup Jesus drank and we also will have to drink the cup of Jesus. And the Babylon, she made a mixed cup that is a Friday crucifixion theory. This is the wine of Babylon. And this is the last warning to Seventh-day Adventists and also to the all Christians. The last warning to Christians. I Jesus swear that Christians will not enter into my rest because you do not know my way. The way of Jesus three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. And the door of the ark shall be shut on April 1st 2023. So if you get into the ark, you must pray to the Lord and ask Him the wisdom and study about the three days and three nights. Jesus died on Wednesday and resurrected on Sunday in 30 AD. If you do not repent, 
by the sign of Jonah, the door of the ark shall be shut in 2023. Now is the time to wake up. Seventh-day Adventists, you guys cannot enter into the rest of Jesus Christ because you do not know the way of Jesus Christ. Jesus died on Wednesday in 30 AD. Wake up, Seventh-day Adventists. I have been trying to wake up church leaders of Seventh-day Adventists, but they do not want to hear the truth. So all the lay people in SDA, please wake up and you need to wake up the church leaders because SDA, they are doomed. Wake up. Now is the time. And the sign of Jonah, the sign of the dove, and sign of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you.